What's up, peeps? My vips here. Today we got an RTA. We got two RTAs. They were sent to me by Vapors Cloud. We got the Osiris Mini, which is a 25 millimeter, and we got the Osiris 30 millimeter RTA. Now, in this video, I'll be using the 25 millimeter as you see here, not the 30. The 30 is pretty much the same RTA, it's just bigger. We'll talk about all that during the up and close, so let's dive down. Let's check out the Osiris RTAs. And here's the packaging of the Osiris Mini and Osiris RTA by Vapors Cloud comes in. Inside the packaging for both RTAs, you'll get a user manual. You'll get this baggie which got extra O-rings and extra post screws, a bubble glass, and the RTAs. So we got 25 millimeter on the Mini, 30 millimeter on the regular. Now when it comes to liquid capacity on both, I uh, can't find anywhere, but we're gonna do a little test. I'll do a test with the bubble glass on, or maybe this gunmetal one, I'll put a bubble glass on it and we'll measure it and I'll figure it out what 25 millimeter is. I'll get a basic idea on all of these when it comes to liquid capacity. You got a logo there, the Osiris logo, Vapors Cloud on the bottom. Over here, you got a little switch on both. You can see it there and there. That's to remove the base, pretty cool. There's no twisting and turning. There's no threading when you're putting the base in. Basically a locking system right down there. On top, you're gonna have your 810 drip tips, quarter turn, and there's your fill port. Now on the bottom is gonna be your locking mechanism. So right now it's locked. If I try to pull this, it doesn't come out. If I put it there and pull, it pops out. Pretty cool the way they designed it. It's got, I don't know if you could kind of see it in the grooves there. Let me show you guys right here. This little notch, as soon as I pull it down, you're gonna see it move. Let me get my finger in there. You see it? It popped up. So it made like a little hook. And that's basically it hooks right into the sides there and it holds the base in place so it doesn't pop out. Pretty cool. And here's what the tanks look like with and without the bubble glass. I, I kind of like the look of this one here with the bubble glass. I'll be using this one in the video. And here's the build deck. So right inside these grooves, you're going to see it has flathead screws, flatheads on this side. There's your openings. Airflow comes in through here. And right inside here, you got four spots for your cotton to go in. You got a serial number right there. There's your airflow. All right, so we just turn it. You could cut it down and open it up. Now in this video, I'll be using these coil clout aliens. There are the stats. And for cutting down these coils, I find that five millimeters on a coily tool is perfect for it. And as you can see, I already got the first coil in there. We're gonna pop the second one in. And one thing I can report about this is the flathead screws on here aren't the greatest. They're very tiny. You gotta be very careful you don't strip them. See how? Nice and easy, I'm tightening them down. You don't wanna go too fast or else they're gonna strip on you. All right, so off camera, I got all the hot spots out of the coil and you can see the coil is kind of different colors. Crazy. So anyway, let's cut it right about there. We'll do the same thing on this side and we're most likely gonna go in there and cut it again, but I'm gonna do my little comb out thingy here. So we'll do this side first, do top, do a little side action and a little under, under action. Same thing on this side. We'll do front, side, and some under, under action. Remove all the fuzzballs out of here. You guys already know the deal what this is for. This is for Steve here. This is all of Steve's excess cotton. He loves this stuff. All right, scissor. I'm just gonna cut a little bit there and a little bit like that. Do the same thing on this side, some here. And here. All right, but that's a little bit more for Steve. Put that on the side. Grab my tool here. And get that cotton inside the hole. Now this is most likely gonna have to be cut down again. Yeah, definitely. So it's a little bit too long. These are bigger coils. So it's gonna need a little less cotton. So I'm just gonna grab and do a side. A little bit more side here and a little front about there. Do the same thing on this side. Make sure I don't go off camera. I got a bad habit of going off camera all the time. All right, so a little extra for Steve. Steve's smiling there. He's happy, happy guy, happy camper. 
All right, we got the cotton in over there. We got the cotton in over here. Actually, these coils should have went in the 30 millimeter. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit too big for this build deck here. For the 25 millimeter build deck, is a little bit on the small side. And yeah, it just doesn't fit too good. Cotton's too bunched up inside there. Yeah, you could see what I'm talking about. See the way the coil is over the holes there? So off camera, I ended up putting some smaller coils in here, some Tricor Fuse Claptons in the 25 millimeter. And I just wanted you guys to get a basic idea on the build decks. You could see how much smaller the 25 is to the 30. So the coils that I used, these will be perfect for inside here. All right, so we'll get some liquid on there. There's the liquid I'm using. Pulse that coil, suck that liquid inside. There we go, very nice. Now I'll grab the deck, push it in. There we go, and then over here, lock it in place, perfect. So I got some liquid here in the syringe. I put five mLs, there's gonna be a little more. Remember, I put about a mil just on the cotton, and there's a little extra in here. So anyway, let's just test it out and see how much this fits. All right, so far so good. Come on. Oh, let's see, are we popping out? Yeah, you can see the liquid is right there at the brim, yeah. So, what do we got here? We have about three, four, yeah, I think with the bubble glass, this is about four mLs. So straight glass will be two, bubble glass will be four. So basically what it comes down to is the 30 millimeter one, this one here will probably fit maybe, I would say three, 3.5 with the straight and about five with the bubble glass, 5.5, somewhere around there. Now, another thing about the RTA, I almost forgot to mention this, when it's on your device, I have my airflow set. If I grab it and turn it, you can see what it does there. Looks like they have juice flow control. Now I looked everywhere, I didn't find anything to mention it, but yeah, it does have juice flow control. Pretty cool. And there you go, that was the Osiris Mini and Osiris 30 millimeter RTAs. Let's go back up on top, let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it, the up close, Osiris, RTAs, Vapors Cloud, Mike thoughts, pros and cons. Before we get into that, if vaping has helped you quit smoking, Give me a like, a subscribe, and leave a comment down below letting me know what RTA helped you quit smoking cigarettes. Also, hit that notification bell icon so you get notified when I got a new upload. And a huge shout out to my Patreon peeps. Mike, pros and cons. Oh yeah, I know people are going to ask. That's Ethereon, right? Is it the Ethereon or no? Thelema, my bad. The Thelema, yeah. Love this. Haven't used this in a while. I figured, you know what? Gunmetal, gunmetal. Just matchy matchy, looks sexy. So Mike, your pros and cons with this. Okay, th really the only con I have, well kind of two cons, for a 25 millimeter RTA, it's kind of small. And when I say that, I mean the build deck is small. As you guys saw, I couldn't put regular beefy uh, coils inside here. That's what the 30 millimeters for, and it'll fit in there. Now, there's other RTAs out in the market that are 25s that fit big coils. They won't fit inside here. And another complaint I have is the post screws, the flatheads, they're tiny. They're tiny in this one here. They're a little bigger on the other one, but they're tiny on this one here. So you have to be very careful you don't strip them out. A positive is they do, they do give you extras. So that's going to be a pro. Now... We have juice flow control on this RTA. To some that's gonna be a pro, to some that's gonna be a con. Me personally, I hate juice flow controls on RTAs because this turns by mistake and I start vaping it and the juice flow controller is off, I'm gonna get a burnt hit. Yeah, I know it's to prevent leaking or whatever. Look, if you're leaking, it's your fault. That's the way what it comes down to. You're not wicking it properly. So this is going to help the people that aren't good at wicking. I totally understand that. This will also help if you live in certain climates, pressure, uh, on a plane, whatever. Yeah, so you don't have to worry. You can just shut down the juice flow control. I will give it a pro for that, which it is very convenient. But like I said, for me, it's more of an annoyance. It's a personal preference. Now, 
builds quality of the RTA Pro. Bubble glass, straight glass on there. I like that they do include the bubble glass with this Pro. I like the way it looks with the bubble glass and the straight glass, but the bubble glass, it just looks really nice. It's not too big on there, so definitely have to be a Pro. Airflow is beautiful on this, a Pro. Your top fill core to turn Pro, 810 drip tip, big Pro. Flavor on here, let's have a hit. Like I said before, I have a... Uh, What's my resistance? 0 0.18, 95 watts on the Thelema. I almost said Therion again. All right, let's hit it. Very nice. Yeah, as you guys can see, she's a cloud chucker. Got cloud in here. If you're hearing background noises, sorry, but I got the air conditioning on. It is hot. I got the exhaust fan on. It is cloudy down here. And I'm doing this all on my own because Steve is on vacation. I do have all that extra cotton for him. It's going to be a nice surprise when he comes back from wherever he is. have to say, when it comes to airflow and flavor, not bad. Flavor rating for an RTA. Remember, this flavor rating is an RTA. It has nothing to do with RDA. It has nothing to do with subwoom tank or pods or whatever. This is for RTAs. Flavor rating on this, I will give it... You know what? One more hit so I can make up my mind. Because I'm, I'm at a number, but I just want to make sure that's the number. I give it an 8. 8 out of 10 for flavor. All in all, I think they did a beautiful job. It's going to accommodate two different types of vapors. People that like smaller RTAs, smaller builds, coils, and also the big boys. The guys that like their 30 millimeter tanks, want to pump lots of clouds, lots of vapor, throw in their big coils. They're going to be more than satisfied with the 30 millimeter version. For me, I'm all about 25s. That's what I like. I got the 25 millimeter on there and I'm actually enjoying this RTA. And it's very nice to have RTAs to review nowadays with all these pods and pods and pods. I know a lot of you are sick of it. Thank you, Vapors Cloud, for making some RTAs that we could do reviews on. For the peeps out there that love their rebuildables, they're going to enjoy these RTAs. And there you go. The Osiris Mini and Osiris 30 by Vapors Cloud. In the description below, there'll be no links to these because you guys already know the deal. I can't. YouTube does not allow links for vaping products. But I will have links to me, Mike Vapes, down below. As always, that's it. I'm done. Thank you. Remember, be safe and keep on vaping.